Hey you. Yes, you. I know your dirty secret. You want to be a hacker, don't you? Not just any hacker, a certified professional and well-paid one. But with so many certifications out there, which ones are actually worth it? Today, we're ranking the best ethical hacking certifications in a tier list, so you don't waste your time or money. Let's go. All right, gentlemen, starting with CISSP. This cert is for people who want to sit in a corner office and talk about security without actually doing any hacking. It's all about policies, risk management, and checking boxes. Blah, blah, blah. Talk about LinkedIn paradise. If you want to spend your time making PowerPoints about threat assessments instead of actually breaking into systems, go for it. But if you're here to hack, this is about as useful as a screen door on a submarine. C tier. Next, Certified Ethical Hacker. Look, it's popular because HR loves it, but honestly, it's a glorified, what is hacking? Course you look up on YouTube when you're 12. I've been guilty of making such videos myself, sadly. You'll memorize some buzzwords and read through a bunch of slides about hacking, but won't actually get your hands dirty. If you pass this cert, congratulations. You'll know what a SQL injection is, but you won't be able to actually pull one off without checking buddy Google first. It's an okay starting point, but don't expect to be a hacker afterward. A tier. To be completely frank, I went easy on it. If it was my genuine option, this would go straight to F tier. But fine. HR is HR, we must respect it and it will get you job prospects. Can't hate it as with much passion as I'd want to. Now, security plus. Sure, if you want to say you're in cybersecurity but you don't want to break a sweat, this is your cert. If you're completely new to IT or security, it'll help you understand what a firewall does. But hacking? Nah. You'll get the basics of everything, but when it comes to actually hacking, it's reading a book about surfing and expecting to catch a wave. Good entry point into cybersecurity. Well known in the space covers a little bit about a lot. If you're completely new and don't have a clear goal yet, it's a decent place to start. But if hacking is what you really want, then skip this one. It's not a direct hacking cert. B tier. Then we have PNPT. It includes real world hacking scenarios and is overall a solid cert. A good choice, but there are even better options. Definitely not overshadowing anything. Wink wink. I tier. EJPT, Junior Penetration Tester. It's a step above beginner, but still pretty basic. The EJPT is a great cert for those who are new to pen testing, but want to get some real hands-on experience. You'll learn how to find and exploit vulnerabilities. It doesn't really hold the same punch as some of the best ones. Still, for newcomers it's a decent start. I am patting you on the back for trying EJPT. Not bad at all. B tier. Next up, we have this useless piece of garbage. Just joking. Udemy hacking certs hold absolute zero fucking weight in the industry, making it useless for getting the job you want. If you're doing these to actually get hired, you're going to be real disappointed. Sure, some of these courses can be decent for learning the very basics, but let's be real. These are not certs that are going to impress anyone in the industry. You'll get a certificate at the end of the course, but when you walk into an interview and show it, the hiring manager will probably just smile and nod, cringe inside and then move on to the next candidate. D tier. Please don't embarrass yourself. Feel me cringing at you and use it as motivation to actually get a proper cert, okay? Good. Now, the real juicy deal. OSCP. This cert is the gold standard for real hands-on hacking skills. It's hard, technical, and forces you to think like a hacker. No multiple choice nonsense, just pure pen testing skills. If you pass OSCP, you're automatically respected in the industry and will massively help you get the job you want. I fangirl over this cert for a reason, okay? If you pass this, you've earned your hacker badge, S tier. Offensive Security Certified Expert. Okay, so you've passed OSCP and you want to level up? This is the next challenge. OSCE is even harder and it's for those who want to go deeper into exploitation, bypassing defenses, and just general badassery. It's like OSCP, but it'll push you to new limits and make you prove you can hack in ways that'll make even the toughest security experts sweat. Only bad side HR just doesn't seem to respect is as much. Not enough clout, baby. So, we will put it at A tier just for that single reason, but awesome sir. CISA, Certified Information Systems Auditor. If you're not into hacking and just want to sit in meetings, yawning, reading through compliance reports, this one's for you. 
CISA is for auditors, not hackers. It's about checking whether organizations follow security rules and policies, but it's not going to teach you anything about exploiting vulnerabilities or performing pen tests. So, if you want to spend your time auditing, great, but don't expect to hack anything. We could call you a professional compliance reporting skiddy with this one. How cute. C-tier. Come to your pen test. This cert is like dipping your toe in pen testing without committing to the full thing. It covers some basic skills, gives you a feel for the job, and gets you familiar with the tools. But it's definitely not for hardcore hackers. If you're just starting out and want to get your feet wet, it's a good option. But if you're serious about pen testing, it's not going to push you hard enough. Sorry, not sorry. I know some people just grind and hoard CompTIA certs, hoping it'll make their CV stand out. But honestly, it's just an entrance point, nothing more special. B tier. Hack the Box Certified Penetration Testing Specialist. Now, here's an interesting one. People say this cert is even tougher than OSCP, which is saying something. It's hands-on, real-world experience than some of the others out there. The curriculum covers a lot of the core pen testing skills you'd expect. However, the big catch here is HR visibility. While CPTS is definitely a killer cert for actually proving your hands-on skills, it just doesn't have the same clout with HR departments as OSCP. So if you want to be respected in the industry, OSCP is the go-to for getting that attention. Still, if you're looking to test your skills and push yourself, the CPTS might just be the hardest cert out there right now. So, I think we're putting it in A tier. It's tougher than OSCP for sure but the HR world just sadly hasn't caught up to it yet. Try Hack Me Security Analyst Cert. Alright, this one's a wild card. It's new, fresh, and since it comes from Try Hack Me, one of the most beginner-friendly hacking platforms out there, it has the potential to blow up in popularity. From what I've seen, people seem to really like the material it covers, especially for those looking to get into SOC work. The big question is, will it hold weight in the job market? Right now, it's too early to tell. Since TryHackMe is already a huge name in the beginner hacking space, there's a chance this could become a solid stepping stone for people looking to get into blue team roles. But until we see how HR reacts to it, I can't slap it into a proper ranking. So, screw it wildcard tier. Could be great, could end up being just another cool learning experience cert that hiring managers ignore. Now, since I've fangirled over OSCP so much, time for a little shameless promo. If you really want to get into ethical hacking, and get access to advanced techniques, tools, and a supportive community, you should definitely check out our exclusive hacking community. Inside, we have detailed courses, in-depth guides, and an expert team ready to assist with everything, from certification prep to career advice. Best of all, we offer the best OSCP guided learning, so you don't have to waste time on HR pose certs that give you clout, but no real experience, and still fall short compared to OSCP. I've put my own personal methodology, tools, cheat sheets, and notes in there, along with hands-on demonstration videos. Plus, I cover a few hacks and tricks that most people miss when taking OSCP, which is exactly why so many fail. Honestly, if you're serious about the red team path, I don't know why you'd torture yourself and your wallet with something like CEH when you could just get a proper certification that actually secures your future. Our community is growing fast, and we're constantly adding new exclusive resources. Because of that, we'll be doubling our pricing soon. Join today while it's still an absolute steal. Can't wait to see you on the inside. Thanks for watching.